From our state capitol newsroom tonight, Tennessee's only public historically black college or university appears on track for new leadership. And we just confirmed the governor signed a bill to replace the entire board that oversees Tennessee State University. Democrats tell state capitol reporter Chris O'Brien they were blindsided. The bill to slash Tennessee State University's board of trustees is headed toward law. The move comes after several scathing audits from the Tennessee Comptroller's Office alleging severe mismanagement of the university. Thursday, the measure passed the House. This has been going on for years now, and the grace that has been given has actually been turned around and shoved back in our face from that very board. So we had to take a stand. Up until Thursday, the House planned to only remove three TSU board members. But this morning, all but two House Republicans voted to join a Senate plan to get rid of all the board members. I think the disappointing part for us is there was members of the Democrat caucus that we talked to, and um, I know that they didn't vote for it, but I don't think that behind the scenes that their vote doesn't reflect where they were behind the scenes. And Democrats say House Republicans went back on their word after the two sides brokered a compromise on the issue. I was told when session started that there would be a forming to the Senate bill. But Senate Republicans warned they would only support replacing the entire board. And if the House and Senate did not reach an agreement, the board would just be eliminated. And you would think that people who are put in a position of being responsible for the overall oversight and leadership of the university would recognize that and, and would, would say, you know what, maybe it's time for me to move on and let others take the lead. They also noted the comptroller released a new audit of TSU today, finding several issues, but nothing illegal, something the university noted in a statement today. When you get an audit that has 60 findings and 30 recommendations or whatever the numbers are, and you celebrate the fact that nothing... Uh, that, that there's a lot of mismanagement, but fortunately there's nothing illegal done. That, that speaks for itself. TSU released two statements in response to the legislative move. In part, they wrote, this is unprecedented, unfortunate, and uncharted waters for any public university in the state. They also noted what they call chronic underfunding for generations. In Nashville, Chris O'Brien. TSU's statements were fairly long in length to read them in their entirety. You can visit our website at WKRN.com.